Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to How to Stay at Home Ec with Brett Janae. Um, I am coming to you guys today from my new favorite space in our house. And um, I wanted to, uh, today on uh, How to Stay at Home Ec, I wanted to talk about... Um, enjoying the fruits of your labor and enjoying the projects that we undertake during this time. So uh, a couple of weeks back, I was, um, I think I was just walking around the house aimlessly, like trying to think of things to do. And then I went outside to my pot garden and I was walking around and I came around to the front and I just started pulling weeds. And um, there were a lot of weeds and there are a lot of things in the front beds that I didn't want um, to have there. And um, so what ended up happening is I just, I, I pulled weeds until I stopped pulling weeds. And then um, I looked at what I had done and I was like, wow, that looks really nice. And I had like the biggest, deepest plans to do uh, some things in our front beds this year before quarantine happened and before COVID hit. And so uh, I realized that I had taken a step in a direction to do a thing. Um, and I was really proud of what I had done. I liked it a lot. Um, and I was like, you know, I could see the way like I could see myself paving the way for getting the beds cleared out. And um, so what ended up happening is over a series of three weekends, I cleaned out my front beds. And so I want to show that to you guys. Um, and it, 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 I cleaned it up and kind of made it a social space for myself, like a place where I go, y'all will see that there are chairs there. Um, I made it a place where I spend a good amount of time, but that wasn't really easy for me. So we'll, we'll first we'll start looking at it um, just because I'm proud and also because, um, well, just because. So this is the front of it. I hope you guys can see. We got our little, little flamingo situation. Chairs. Um... And then around to the other side, and around to the front. And I spent some time, you know, even even raking the lawn last weekend. But um, yes, I show this to you guys because I'm proud of it. I show this to you guys because it's one of my favorite places. But it didn't become my favorite place. Um, it didn't become my favorite place because I did something to it. And so that's what I wanted to talk to you today about. Um, during quarantine, uh, I have seen on Facebook and, you know, I've heard people talk about all of the things that they're planning on getting done with their house now that they have to spend so much time at home. And um, so a lot of projects are getting started. Um, some of those are getting done. And what ends up happening a lot of times when our minds are frantically searching for purpose uh, during a time that's crazy like this. Um, I think that what we do and what I did, and it kind of scared me, is um, I was almost done with uh, the corner that's off to, that, uh, to the right-hand side of our house when you're looking at it, and I almost didn't finish it. And I'll tell you why I almost didn't, because I was afraid of what was going to happen when I didn't have anything left to do in my front beds. So I actually had like a sort of procrastination based on uncertainty of what my life was going to hold. And it was really kind of, it was real, you guys. Like I um, had to do a bit of an introspection to uh, know that what I really wanted was for it to look nice. And um, I had to have an idea of what I wanted to use it for. Um, and then I had to decide that I wanted it enough to finish it, um, even if that meant that I didn't have anything to do with my time. So I did finish it, um, as you guys will see, and then my mind started frantically searching for something else to do. 
Um, and so I think that it's important that we allow ourselves projects during this time. I think that it is fantastic that our projects are home based. I think that it's uh, a beautiful and lovely thing to enjoy our time at home and to make our space a livable, lovable, um, laughterful space. And um, I'm all for that. Um, I guess today what I wanted to say on how, uh, how to stay at home ec is that during this time especially, when we start a project and when we finish a project, um, if that's what we get to, uh, that we enjoy every stage of the projects that we choose to do. So that means the beginnings we enjoy, the journey we enjoy. So that meant for me, turning on music and um, listening to Bacchanal and uh, winding it up and not wine, but like the dance. <laughs> like actually booty shaking in my front lawn. Yes, yes, it happened. Um, uh, those those mornings into those hot days um, when I sweated out wearing a tank top or a tube top and um, my shovel and my gloves and my shorts and getting a tan and um, enjoying that time and then enjoying the time that I have now um, it has been the hardest part of this. So when I started this project, it happened very organically. When I was doing the project, for the most part, it happened really, or it happened quite um, easily. Uh, I looked forward to the weekends when I was able to do it, when I wasn't out um, working. Uh, and then, but finishing it was really hard for the reasons I mentioned before, um, fear of not having something to look forward to, to do. And then uh, since then, um, it has been a little bit difficult, uh, restraining my mind enough to enjoy the fruits of my labor. So, um, as part of my morning routine, uh, now that I am off of work, um, and I'm super stoked about that. Uh, I loved my year in the nursery, um, and I'm excited about what will come next for me. Um, but right now, my morning routine includes, after all the things are done and I've taken care of the animals and I've um, taken care of myself and done, done my stretches and things like that, I come out here. And I'm drawn to it, but not in a way that you would imagine... Um, I, it didn't start off easily that way. Um, so I had to decide that instead of starting another project, I was going to spend some time enjoying the project that I had already done. And I had to think about what that meant for, for me. And what that meant was continuing to listen to Bacchanal and continuing to wind it up out here, but to do some of my favorite things out here that I love about the summer, including laying out in the sun, reading, wearing big sun hats, wearing bathing suits, um, uh, slodging on coconut scented, uh, Aussie flavored sun bronzer SPF stuff, um, having delicious beverages, which I have, uh, procured for myself here. Nothing naughty about this guys. This is uh, sparkling water and cranberry juice with a lime. Um, but part of uh, the way that I like to enjoy myself out here is by um, treating it as though it's a delicacy to be in this space. And so I dress up to come out here. Um, I, I mean, I'm not like super dressed up right now, but I'm, you know, wearing earrings. I have put on my makeups. We had taken a walk um, just a couple minutes ago and I came home and I washed my face with one of my rose wipes moisturized, reapplied deodorant, made myself a beautiful beverage, grabbed my hat and my laptop and came out here to talk to you guys. So um, I enjoy my time and my space out here in a way that is celebratory. And I hope that for you guys. So um, during this time, um, 
in how to stay at home act today, I think what I want you to take away is, sure, find your projects. Maybe it's even working out at your house. Maybe it's doing DIY stuff in your yard or in your bathroom or in your kitchen. Maybe it's decluttering, whatever it is that you're doing right now. And if you're not doing anything, that's fine too. Prioritize though, whatever you're doing or not doing, prioritize celebrating your space and celebrating your wins celebrating the ends of projects, even if that's just a long day of having sitting at your computer or that you've made it another day in quarantine, um, finding things to celebrate about because we work hard to live every day right now and um, it deserves to be a joy. We deserve to have joy and um, I hope you can find a space in your space um, maybe it's a space that you don't normally spend a lot of time in, but maybe you can spend a little bit of time in that space and make it a, a sacred space for you right now, whatever that means. So maybe there's a part of the, your house that you don't normally use, um, but there's a something that's missing that you don't get in your house right now that you want to make happen. And I hope that maybe you can make that happen and enjoy your space in a new and celebratory way. So um, I hope you're well. Um, I hope that this brightens your day even just a little bit. You're amazing. You're a star and I love you. Um, I hope that uh, you find yourself a space um, and... If you've already got a space and it's perfect the way it is, I hope you celebrate your moments in that space um, in the ways that are meaningful to you. So have a great day, um, way to stay at home, and we'll see you next time.